Virgo, welcome to my third channel, my Virgo only channel. My name is Chelsea. In this reading, we're going to find out who has been thinking about you today and what were they thinking about. To, uh, today is the 11th of July, 2024. Time here in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia is 11.51 a.m. And Virgo, I'm giving away free personal reading as usual once a week for a lucky winner to enter hit like subscribe and comment below i love virgo if you have commented before you can do it again it will increase your chance in winning and winners will be announced on the community page weekly all right virgo let's get your reading started spirits and angels please uh, please show me who has been thinking about virgo today and what were they thinking about virgo please bear in mind that roles can be reversed between you and this person, thinking about a decision that has been made. Another decision, two of swords. Let's see. The moon. Thanks for being here, Virgo. The emperor. So this person could be an Aries or could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, could be a fire sign, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. I'm seeing some air here as well, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Can be any sign, doesn't matter, okay? We all have multiple signs in our chart. And also this is just a general reading. If you prefer a more accurate reading that's tailor-made just for you and you alone, you can book me all info is below. So this person is very deep into in their emotions. The moon and the king of cups feels very very deeply as well so this person has maybe really deep emotions for you and this could be the reason why they're thinking about you or they could also be trying to sort their feelings out because the moon can indicate um, confusion right they may be confused about their feelings um, they could be trying to run away from their feelings this could also be somebody who's like a runner or somebody who's has been trying to avoid you or avoid telling you how they feel uh, or it could be acting hot and cold towards you um, lately or in the past. So first thing, two of wands and love first, they have been thinking about a, a decision that either that has been made or, or that they want to make a decision about you, about the, the connection between the two of you, two of swords. This could be somebody you are partial about. You're not sure about this person or you're standing at a crossroad or vice versa. This person could be indecisive, standing at a crossroad, unsure about what to say to you, how to feel about you. Again, they may be trying to sort their feelings out, right? And it does look like, you know, the king comes in that right position. So that means they do this is somebody who has romantic feelings for you okay but nine of cups here is in reverse perhaps virgo maybe there's somebody who wants their cake and eat it too or this could also mean this is somebody kind of deceptive or somebody who runs away every time when they get too deep into uh, their feelings when they start to feel something they run away right because they're scared, because the moon can indicate fear, insecurities. Now the nine of wands here is in reverse. Maybe there's somebody who's not really taking any actions towards you right now, and that both of you are not really communicating right now. If there's any communication, it's very little, very slow, or hot and cold. Will fortune here is in reverse. So this person is stuck in their thoughts, in their feelings, going around and around in circles. And page of wands here is in one verse. They're stuck in terms of also reaching out to you. They're not sure what to say to you, okay? They want to talk to you, but they're, they're still trying to decide what to say to you. Strong, strong water energy. Again, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Also, they may have water somewhere in the chart. Let's see more Virgo. Queen of Wands, if you're embodying the Queen of Wands, Virgo, this person could be thinking about, oh my gosh, I am so attracted to Virgo. I want Virgo so badly. I don't know why I feel this much for Virgo. 
for some of you Virgo, it could be somebody who is already, this is just for like maybe 10% of you Virgo, it's, it, it's somebody who is um, attached to someone else, okay, the emperor. They may already uh, have a whole other relationship or another marriage and you could be the third party if that's the case, okay? If you do know there's somebody like that. So this person secretly could be harboring uh, feelings for you and also they are very, very attracted to you, but they're keeping it a secret, seven of swords, because it's a very secretive, also a sneaky energy, right? Six of swords here is a month first. They can't stop thinking about your beauty, how attracted they are to you. Um, now, Virgo, you may be attracted to this person too, or you may not. This could also mean there's you have a secret admirer who may be attached already with uh, to someone else, um, and they could be secretly thinking about you, having these, you know, naughty thoughts of you. Yeah, because Seven of Swords is right here. You may have a couple of people or three people here thinking about you today. The Emperor could be a father figure of somebody, your dad could be thinking about you. Now the Queen of Wands could also be a separate individual, a woman, a feminine energy. This could be someone whom is um, either very jealous of you, um, or this could be someone who's keeping secrets from you. Um, if you are the third party, or if they are the third party, either or, but moon here someone secretly thinks about you where i feel like they don't want you to find out they don't want anybody to find out okay king of cups you do have one person who loves you or is contemplating about their love for you okay the moon again indicates deep emotions and i feel like this is somebody who who has deep emotions for you but is kind of like running away from it trying to avoid feeling this way for you, but they can't help it but to think about you, um, even though they tell themselves, no, I can't think about Virgo, but they still find themselves thinking about you. This is like, you know, I don't want to think about this person, but I'm still going to think a little bit. You know, it's just like, can't quite escape not thinking about you. Six of Cups in reverse, we've got the Sun, Three of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, you may have somebody who is thinking a lot about you because they miss you, okay? Uh, five of Pentacles, they aren't doing that well without you in the picture. This is someone I feel, Six of Cups in reverse. This person may act as though they're in control, like they don't miss you. They may act that way because the moon and seven of swords again, indicates deception. So this person may not want you to know that they think about you, they miss you. Could be thinking about the happy times both of you have shared with each other, that good, positive, happy energy, three of pentacles. This could be this could be somebody you work with or used to work with. Um, there's someone, Virgo, who secretly could be thinking about you and has emotions for you, but it's supposed to be platonic. Okay. It's supposed to be platonic, um, like a platonic connection who secretly, this person, you and this person has a very platonic connection. One of these people here, okay, there's one here thinking about you a lot because they find you to be very attractive. They can't help but be attracted to you. Um, but your connections, both of your connections are supposed to be platonic. It could be, a, again, a secret admirer, somebody you work with or somebody you see. Uh, sorry about that. That was my alarm. Somebody you see very often, Three of Pentacles. Could be anybody that like you go to a restaurant, this person works at a restaurant, or this person works at the gym, or you guys run into each other at the gym. This could be also an employer or an employee. It feels like it's like a very platonic, uh, professional uh, environment where both of you are supposed to be either professional with each other or be platonic with each other have that one person I feel like it's your secret admirer who secretly has you know some feelings for you or is secretly attracted to you the Queen of Wands right here and then you have 
the first person here, the King of Cups. This is that person I feel is, again, has deep emotions for you, hasn't moved on yet, stuck, but can't quite take actions towards you, indecisive in terms of taking actions towards you. And another thing I'm seeing here is they could be planning. They could be trying to figure out how do I do, what should I say, because I want to return to Virgo. It may be someone you have released. It could be someone you've had some bad memories with. You don't think that both of you would reconcile. This could be somebody whom, again, could be quite stubborn, who likes to be in charge, who likes to be in control. But they're losing control. I'm getting this message a lot for a lot of you, Virgo, lately. There is someone, an individual in your life, whom is kind of losing control of themselves, even though they're trying the best that they can to control themselves, their feelings in particular. Uh, but they're starting to feel like, okay, my feelings for Virgo is overwhelming. Um, it's taking over my what I know or what I think I should do, um, making me feel weak or making me feel like I need to surrender to these feelings, to these emotions that I have for Virgo. So whatever the case is, Virgo, this person is harboring a lot of feelings for you. And I think they want a second chance in this connection to be connected to with you again, to see you again. So Three of Pentacles, they may want to fix things with you. There's someone here, again, thinking about returning to you. Some of you could be a platonic. Uh, it could be a friend, a friend. It could be someone um, you you grew up with it could also be a family member it can be anybody okay not a cup of lovers now this person feels really unfulfilled without you in your life because you have brought a lot of happiness to this person so I see them like just making a u-turn back to you or thinking of ways to speak to you to uh, be reconnected with you okay Virgo, this is your reading. Hope it serves you well. Don't forget to hit like, share, and subscribe. Subscribe anyways if you haven't yet. It's free to subscribe. And especially if you've been here before many times. And what else? If you were to find this reading to be useful, as you guys know, I post every single day, almost every single day. If I do take a break for a few days, that's because I need a break. But other than that, I'm always here. I'm always uh, doing very updated readings. I don't ever recycle any of my videos, any of my readings, and this is why I always um, mention the time and the date uh, before each reading. So um, this is the channel for you to come back to get, you know, um, updated readings. You guys know things always change, feelings change, things are always shifting. So this is um, your one stop. <laughs> of um to get updates basically but anyways hit on the bell notification button if you want to be notified every time i post your videos which is very very frequently as you guys know already and also i have two channels chelsea love tarot which is my main channel and i usually go live on that channel so make sure you subscribe to that channel as well i do paid readings over there and also um i do what else uh timeless reading Recently, I've started doing timeless reading on my main channel. And also, Chelsea Vlogs is my travel vlog channel if you want to get updated. And I'll also get information about travel tips or uh, places to go to, food to eat, stuff like that. But anyways, take care, Virgo. I hope to see you back here again soon. I love you. Bye.